Zona Extra, la cerveza más fina, and AT&T, the largest network in the nation, the largest 4G network, AT&T, Rethink Possible. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, Andy Foster, executive officer in attendance, the chairman is John Frierson. NABO supervisor, Mark Reels. The three judges scoring this bout at ringside on the 10-point bus system from California, Jonathan Davis. From California, David Mendoza. And also from California, Lieutenant Colonel USMC retired, Fritz Werner. When the bell rings and the action begins, your referee in charge of the action is Jack Riggs. And here we go, fine fans, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing purple, trimmed in gold and silver, he weighed in officially 152 pounds even. This professional brings an outstanding record into the ring tonight. 29 victories, just three defeats. 23 big wins coming by way of knockout from Moca, Puerto Rico. Here's a former welterweight champion of the world, Indio, Carlos Quintana. And next is opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the colors of the USA, red, white, and blue. He weighed in officially 151 and one quarter pounds and brings a perfect professional record into the ring. 18 victories, no defeats, 17 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the rising junior middleweight star from Clearwater, Florida, the undefeated Keith Watton Thurman! And both trunks are high, I'm gonna let all this go in here, okay? Listen, obey my hands, commands all the time, scooch me. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck. Now, peace. Touch him up. Good luck. Carlos Quintana, who's upset the apple cart, as Jim mentioned many times in this situation in the past, believes a win here tonight puts him in line for a Canelo Alvarez fight, a very winnable one in his opinion. Keith Thurman, for his part, his motto is KOs for life, says, I've got an O, and I'm not afraid to let it go. I just want to fight. Elaborate on that comment, Max. I've got to know, and I'm not afraid to let it go. What does that mean about his competitive mentality? Yeah, it means he wants to fight, test himself against the best, and once he's in there, he wants to mix it up. He knows that there are dangers inherent with that way of thinking, and he's okay with it. Even sacrificed and moved up in weight to face this guy, Quintana, who nobody really is jumping off the bus to fight uh, every day. Carlos Quintana split a pair of fights with Paul Williams. He sort of out technique Williams and craftily upset him the first time around, then got annihilated in the rematch. Good buddies with Williams now, corresponds with Paul, as Paul is, of course, dealing with the condition of paralysis that followed his devastating automobile, or excuse me, motorcycle accident. One of a handful of fighters in the sport, Sergio Martinez is another one, Canelo is another one, who have developed friendly relationships with Williams in the last year or two. Paul, always one of the real good guys in boxing. One of the most lovable guys you can meet. And a straight-up honest competitor. Speaking of which, it looks like Keith Thurman has come out with the intention to not let Quintana be cute, Roy, and he's doing what Harold Letterman loves to see a guy do against the South Pole, which is back him up. Yeah, he's walking him down, but he also walked into a right hook earlier that I think showed him that he can't just walk him down without uh, respect for the guy, because Quintana did throw a pretty good right hook, and it made uh, Keith Thurman back up just a little bit. Saw that, but he's still he's still following the game plan, it looks like, Thurman. He is. He's a very disciplined fighter. He's going to stick to his game plan no matter what. So I like that about the young Keith Thurman. Which way should Thurman try to move against the crafty southpaw, Roy? Of course you should move to his left, because if he moves to his left, he lines up his perfect straight right hand. And I think the straight right hand probably is one of Keith's strongest punches. However, he can't continue to just follow Quintana around, because Quintana has a lot of experience at this.
We saw a case in the heavyweight division last Saturday night when a veteran fighter with craft and knowledge was able to set a trap and force oh. an eager young punter into that position. And there's a body shot, which has truly damaged Quintana. And this is a legitimate knockdown. That was not a low blow. We are closing in on a first round. And now Quintana made it up, but just barely. That was almost a first round body shot knockout for Thurman. Thurman had eight first round knockouts in his first eight fights. He's at nine overall. You see the danger? Quintana got him with a little right hand pot shot over the top at the end of the round, which helped to make it out of the round. What happened? He's catching you. Don't turn away. Now breathe, breathe. Give a little water there. Breathe, Indio, breathe. Let's go. Listen, be intelligent. Be intelligent when he comes in, when he lunges in. Throw the left to the chest and then tie him up. Don't let him work, all right? You good? You good. Tie him up, okay? You good? Okay, relax. No issues. The same thing as always. First round. Here you see uh, Thurman come in with a beautiful left body shot right up under uh, Quintana's left hand or his jab. Right hand on his southpaw. Beautiful body shot right on the level. Once again, he steps to the outside, to the left, like I said, and throws a beautiful left body shot right up under Quintana's right hand. Couldn't ask for a better body shot. Open opportunity for the Mexican liver shot. Maybe the most damaging single punch in the game. And Thurman put it right on the target. Well, earlier today on a different fight card, Ricky Hatton came out of retirement, was winning a fight against Sinchenko, and got stopped with a body shot and then re-retired. <laughs> um, Quintana's 36 years old. And his getting up from that shot and continuing to fight says something about how much fight he has left in him, I think. Says he was here for more than just the paycheck. If he was, if, if he was just here for the paycheck, he'd have left his knee on the canvas. But he did make it up, and now he's trying to move and present a tactical challenge for Thurman in round number two. And I think that made him a little bit more, uh, even a little bit more dangerous now because now he's going to run more than he normally would have. And that's not going to work to keep Thurman's advantage. Nothing can convince an older fighter that they don't have it anymore, <laughs> like a left hook in the liver. Well, that was good practice for fighting Canelo Alvarez. That's what he said he wanted yesterday, you know, a win here and then fight Canelo Alvarez. That's a money punch for Alvarez, that left hand shot to the liver. So if, if he can weather it here, he'll taste more of it if he gets his dream. But that would require him reversing the tide of this and somehow getting past Thurman. And that doesn't seem very likely right now. However, nope. we have to see how Thurman reacts over the next few rounds. Stop. Suertelo, suertelo, suertelo. And Thurman has to be careful not to run into either a headbutt or a good left hand while he's chasing Quintana. The early returns suggest that Thurman has the physical advantages necessary to fight through any mistakes he might make here. Quintana cannot afford to make a mistake. Yeah, coming in, there, there were plenty of skeptics in the boxing world who viewed suertelo, Keith suertelo, Thurman todos. as a prospect perhaps along Stop. the lines of Joel Julio, who Quintana exposed in a tough fight. But Quintana upset him. But so far, Thurman is looking against Quintana the way Miguel Cotto looked against him, which is to say highly effective and uh, walking right through him so far. Good body oh, shot. Two hard body shots, one with the right, one with the left. Quintana has made no pretense of anything in the way of sustaining offense in this round. This is more or less a running round for him. Two straight right hands by Thurman to finish up the round. Quintana was backing away from both of them, and that helps him to get through it. Drop your punches down a little lower. Every time you punch, he's dropping down. So just drop everything down here. Good work. Good work. Good work. Two rounds in the bag right now. 
Immediately following tonight's live boxing, stay tuned for the second episode of 24-7. Pacquiao Marquez will continue the run-up to the fourth fight between Manny Pacquiao and Juan Manuel Marquez with a look at the lives of each fighter before the beginning of training camp. And on December 8th, live on HBO Pay-Per-View, Pacquiao and Marquez square off in the ring for the fourth, most likely the final time. CompuBox numbers in the second round. Thurman was 12 out of 37. Quintana was 6 out of 38. Second round in a row that they combined to throw a total of 75 punches. So both the first and second rounds were fought at exactly the same pace. 10 of Thurman's 12 landed punches were power shots. Four of them to the body. And if there's any one thing we've seen in the first two rounds that stands to be the difference in the bout, it's whatever damage Thurman is able to do to Quintana's body with the shots that he's landed up to this point. All those rounds with Winky Wright seem to be paying off for Thurman in terms of his ability to fight a southpaw so far. Sparring Winky Wright. Carlos will be on the head. Suertelo, suertelo. And Dan Birmingham told him something very interesting in the corner. He told him, because the guy's going so low, lower your attack. Don't say stay so straight up when you're attacking him. And that's very good uh, information because I was looking for Quintana to land a straight right hand, a straight left hand, on the attacking Keith Thurman in the last round. Thurman landed another left to the body, and in there, a quick straight left hook stop, stop, inside. Stop, 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 stop. A quick sharp left hook inside, I should say on Quintana. Thurman lacks elite speed, but he has real heavy hands and punching power, and as Roy mentioned, discipline to go with it. Stop! stop Let's listen stop. to trainer Dan Birmingham now as he provides instructions to Keith Thurman in the ring. Birmingham, a former United States Boxing Writers Association trainer of the year for his work with Winky Wright and Jeff Lacey. Come on, Keith. Straight punch your way in. Stay with him. Don't back up. <laughs> stop, stop. Again. Okay. When you're holding him, you gotta not do that, okay? All right? Box. Make a point. Keep working, baby. Come on. That's it. Drop him down. You gotta punch, Keith. Come on. Roy Jones, does it appear to you that whatever legitimate plan Carlos Quintana had has now gone out the window totally, and he's scratching to try to survive? Totally out of the window. That body shot changed a lot of things here. Made him go to a plan C or even D. And I got to say, plan A wasn't that effective for him. Other than that one right hook you mentioned, Roy, which Thurman walked through, Thurman took control right from the opening bell. But what I think the smarter Quintana is doing is trying to survive a few rounds to allow Thurman to use some of that energy and power up. Then he'll come back and fight more. So right now, I use his bicycle to keep him away and let his body fully recover before he tries to mount and attack. Pausing occasionally to stand and fight for a few seconds just to change the rhythm and then moving away again. Exactly. Listen, listen, we're going to keep with our plan, all right? You understand? That's good. He's dwindling. He's starting to dwindle. And we've got him. We're going to take it home, baby. Breathe. Indio. Tie him up. Tie him up, man. Rough him up. Tie him up. Touch his body. Touch his body. Touch him up top. Beautiful job. You're gonna catch up with him. He's just a slick runner. You'll catch up with him. Little more, just a little bit of room. How do you have it through three? <laughs> okay, Jim. Three to nothing, 30 to 26. 
Keith Thurman. You know, you got to give him an extra point for the knockdown at round one. He knocked the other guy off his feet. He gets an extra point for that. You know, Jim, I find it very interesting. The promoter uh, supplies the ring, okay? And I guarantee that Keith Thurman, who's promoted by Golden Boy Promotions, did not want a big ring where he would have to chase Carlos Quintana. I mean, his promoter did him no favors with this ring. But Beza made Quintana on his horse. Thurman landed the hardest shots. Three to nothing, Keith Thurman. Well, one thing I've seen in watching Emmanuel Stewart manage and promote fighters in his own stable over the years is that sometimes you want to give the rising prospect a tougher test. You want to give him a harder canvas on which to paint to see how he deals with the challenge. Maybe they wanted to see how Thurman would handle a larger ring in a situation like this. He's doing good with it He's so doing far. very well. <laughs> Every time Thurman goes to the body, it feels like he comes close to scoring a knockout, Roy, but he hasn't consistently stop, stop, stayed stop, there. Stop. Why do you think? Do uh, because he's got to chase this guy so much, and he really wants to hit him to the head, but... You know, Keith Thurman is a knockout puncher. So, as we know, he's looking for a KO. He can get it to the body, yes, but he's trying to hit the head some as well. Just in his nature. I wonder if he was talking about having the puncher's dilemma with his hands in our fighter meeting yesterday. Um, real hard punchers, frequently, most fighters have problems with their hands at some point. And one of the problems is you hit a guy in the elbow. Oh, there he is. He's hurt bad. Oh, there no. he is. This, this will be the end. Quintana's done after the he's left done. hook. Yes, he done. is out on his feet. Oh, good shot. The referee needs to stop this one now. Quintana's trying, though, but the referee needs to stop this one. I'm sure. amazed if he can make it out of this. Yeah, if he makes out of this, it's going to be a good fight. Well, check what I tell you, Jim. If he makes out of this, it's going to turn to a really interesting fight. Let's see if Thurman remembers to go oh, to the there body. There he is. He's not going to make it out of this, though. <laughs> he seems he to did. be thoroughly out on his feet. Yes, yeah, the corner is trying to, to find it. the target. Yeah. And now so, Jack Reese is going to stop it. Waiting to see that go any further. No, it wasn't. That's a spectacular win. Keith Thurman won every moment of every round from the opening bell. Fought an exciting yet disciplined fight. Knocked him down to the body, knocked him out to the head. Very disciplined fighter. So the skeptics will have to wait for another day to see the Keith Thurman balloon punctured. As Max Kellerman makes it clear, this was a decisive, thunderously impressive win for Thurman, who went in against a veteran with craft and tore him apart from the opening bell. Not only that, you have to mention the fact that he moved up in weight in order to get a decent challenge because he probably can't get many challenges at welterweight. They say he's too big for welterweight, and really he punches too big for the welterweight, so most welterweights are staying away from Keith Thurman. Let's take a look one more time in real time at what happened, Roy. And yeah. there's, there's a left hook there, that that one right there. From yeah. that point on, it was just target practice. Yeah, it was target practice after that. He hit him with that two right hands, followed by that beautiful left hook. That was another left hook that almost took him out. Quintana was very impressive because he's still trying to fight, and he's basically out on his feet at this point. But he's still throwing punches because he doesn't want the ref to stop it. Very impressive by Quintana as well. That was a body shot that definitely should have took it out of him. But you got to say a lot about Keith Thurman because he remembered to go to the body. They're overhand right, and the referee knew at that point that he should call it a night. So a TKO victory for Keith Thurman. Let's go to Joe Martinez for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, it comes in two minutes, 19 seconds, round number four. Referee Jack Ray steps in and calls a halt to the bout. Your winner. My KO victory and new NABO Junior Middleweight Champion, the still undefeated one time, Keith Thurman! Let's take a look at CompuBox numbers with a caveat. As this guy's career progresses, I'm not sure how much it's going to mean to look at CompuBox numbers for Keith Thurman. He is a one-punch devastation guy. He's looking to land one big shot. And he landed that left hook in the fourth round. From that point on, it was a matter of time. 57 out of 170 to 20 of 134. He had the continually controlling connect percentage. Power shots, 
And he landed 39% of them. Yeah, this guy should become and could become a more accurate puncher. But it's the damage he does with one shot, particularly to the body, that makes him who he is. And Quintana was mostly trying to defend himself throwing these power shots. Landed only 16 out of 67. Max Kellerman standing by now with Red Hot Keith Thurman. Keith, you told me that last time out you gave yourself a B minus. What do you give yourself tonight? I give myself a, a B plus to an A minus. Tough critic. Yes, I am. Uh, there's many more to come from Keith One Time Thurman, you best believe. You came out right from the opening bell, took charge against a guy in Quintana who scored a lot of upsets in his career. You started backing him up immediately. What was your game plan? To be confident in myself, my skills and ability, all the work I've been putting through since I was seven years old, and the gift that I got from God. You knock him down, very nearly knock him out with a left hand to the body. And then while you went to the body here and there after that, you didn't really stay down there. Why not? Man, he was just uh, slippery, man. He's almost like a little snake. I'm surprised his nickname's not the snake. When you had him hurt, we were talking ringside and it, throughout the fight, impressed with your discipline. You were avoiding counters as well as unloading your own shots. Is this a progression from your last fight? Is this something you've always been capable of doing? Uh, yes, sir, man. I mean, I've been in the ring with the best since I was 16 years old. So uh, to me and my camp, this isn't a surprise. But, um, you know, we kept our composure. You know, I'm young at heart, but I'm old in the mind. After fighting a journeyman last time on HBO and winning, uh, you called out Floyd Mayweather. Uh, even though you gave yourself a B minus for your last performance. Now you fought a, a real guy who's beaten some top fighters and destroyed him. Who are you calling out tonight? Man, I'm calling out the world of boxing. Anybody in the world of boxing can get some of Keith one time Thurman. Call out Heyman. You know the number. What weight divisions, Keith? Um, 147 and 154. Thanks. Jim? All right, Max. Roy Jones says it'll likely be 154. He's not going to have a lot of customers, he says, at 147.